Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of The Bad Idea Bros. Today you join me at the Mount Nelson Signal Station, which was built back in 1811 to transmit signals between the convict side of Port Arthur and Hobart Town. Now, they didn't use anything digital, obviously. Um, what they used was the pole behind me. Now, guys, very rudimentary system, um, but very efficient. So they used flags at this site, and as you can see from the view, they have a commanding view of this whole area and that was why this site was chosen so guys uh, not a bad little spot to start the plan for today is to basically have a look at a few historic sites and we will wind up down towards Bruni Island which is an absolute must do for Tasmania so guys that's enough of me waffling let's get on the bike and get into this thing all right guys so this was our starting point for today and as mentioned in the opener, we have a few historic places to look at. The first one that we'll be heading towards is the Hobart Shot Tower. Now that's going to require us doing a bit of bumpy tarmac and one particularly twisty descent down Nelson Road. Lots of switchbacks on that one. Got a perfect day for it today guys, sun's out, not too hot, nice cool breeze, perfect riding conditions. And once again, we uh, should be seeing some nice scenery. So today's ride will see us uh, heading south of Hobart and eventually we'll be ending up at a place called Kettering which is where you uh, board the Bruni Island Ferry. Now uh, I think I mentioned the opener, Bruni Island is an absolute must do if you're in Tasmania uh, to the point that the picture of Tasmania on the lonely planet is actually taken on Bruni Island. So guys I'm going to put the visor down and uh, Try and get through this bumpy road. Alright guys, this is uh, Nelson Road, which is the twisty switchback road to find you ending up at the Nelson Signal Station. Hopefully there won't be too much traffic. As per usual, it's another tight Tasmanian road. Not a lot of real estate, not a lot of space for roads. So uh, we will eventually wind our way down to essentially the waterfront and the road we'll be taking will follow that along out to a place called Taruna and uh, that is where our first stop of the day is, which is the Shot Tower. Alright guys, so that's uh, the end of the twisty switchbacks, obviously, and you can see dead ahead of us we are heading towards the ocean. So we'll uh, follow this road down to its end and be turning right, and then follow that pretty much all the way to our destination. Alright guys, so just to the left of us you can see the uh, Rest Point Casino which is another famous Tasmanian landmark. Got a uh, interesting sort of architecture there and uh, it does actually have a revolving restaurant all the way at the top there. So you get a uh, 360 degree panoramic view of uh, all of this, all the water and the city and everything. A beautiful smell of the ocean now through the helmet and uh, Things are definitely warmed up. We don't have that breeze that we had up on the top of Mount uh, Nelson there, so definitely a good day for riding.
Alright guys, so uh, as that sign directly ahead shows us, we are coming up on our first stop, which is the Shot Tower. Entry should be just around this next corner, and there's your first glimpse there guys. Alright guys, so uh, this is obviously the shot tower, and directly ahead is the entrance. The plan is to climb all the way up there. So how's that going to go? I'm not sure, but I'm willing to give it a go. So let's go and try this thing. Okay guys, so the uh, point of the shot tower is exactly as the name suggests, it's made shot. Uh, from the very top of the tower they would drop molten lead down into a vat of, I believe, water at the bottom and that was to make shot for muskets and if I flip this camera around this is the different size shots that they would make so depending on the size or sorry the volume of lead that they drop from the top it would end up as different sizes from the bottom so you can see four six seven eight nine and obviously imperfection as well so that was the point of this thing guys through that door should be where we go already feel like we're quite a ways up with a heck of a long way to go guys i'm not gonna lie this feels definitely sketchy um i know how old this thing is and the wooden stairs I'm sure they're safe, I'm sure they're inspected, but they definitely feel rickety. There's a heck of a lot of them. And it also could just be me, but it definitely feels like it's tightening up. And uh, I think I remember reading that there were 300 and something stairs. Um, I will confirm that and put it below. But yeah, I think it's 320 or 30 something stairs. So, interesting. Alright guys, I can feel the fresh air, which means we're almost at the top, and this is incredibly steep. I'll uh, show you what the last bit looks like. But uh, that's the stairwell, and as you can see, it's no joke. We're very much almost there, and uh, I'm excited to see the view. So, looks like we get up to a metal cantry. Oh wow. Man, that took some effort. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, very tight confines at the top, but we are at the top, and uh, I would assume this is the old lead melting pot. I'm not actually sure of that, but that's what it appears to be. It looks like it'd be something along those lines. Looks like a big uh, cauldron furnace sort of thing, and it does have a point there. But uh, this is what we've come up here for, which is the view. Far out guys, what a view. You can just see for miles and miles and miles. That uh, road down there, just down there, that's actually the one we came in on. So uh, yeah, it's quite a ways up. Well guys, that was one heck of a climb, but as you can see from behind me, the view was well and truly worth it. The wind is up a little bit, so I've got you half in, half out of the tower to try and alleviate that. But that was, that was one heck of a climb, that was actually no joke. I went into that thinking it was going to be a lot easier than it was um, and then struggled a little bit, so lessons learned. Definitely tight confines as you, um, as you start getting higher to the top, um, as expected, but guys, definitely worth it. I'm going to go back down and we'll join you when I get back on the bike. Alright guys, that was a nice little stop, something different for you to have a look at. Hopefully you enjoyed it because that was a heck of a climb. So, we're going through the gardens here, and the exit should be just around the end of this road, which will put us back onto that gorgeous twisty tarmac we were on before. There we go. 
perfect, nothing coming. Alright guys, so we're going to uh, be continuing along this road for quite some time. We'll eventually deposit us in Kingston, uh, which will uh, take the route that follows the beaches and continue heading on to our next stop, which is actually a waterfall. I'm going to put the visor down and enjoy these beautiful corners. Ah, not a bad way to spend a day. Alright guys, so uh, this is Kingston, we'll be turning left to head down towards the beach and take the more scenic of the routes. So guys, we've uh, run out of road here, so it'll definitely be a right hand turn, follow the beach ground. Looks like everyone's at the beach today. Definitely a good day for it. So guys, it felt like a very long ride to get down here, but this is snug and uh, this turn off where the red car is is where we need to be going to get to our waterfall. I feel like this uh, waterfall may be one of the lesser known ones, but uh, quite a pretty place. Takes a little bit to get down here. We'll have a little bit of gravel to uh, get out to the uh, trailhead to hike down, but uh, well worth it. Guys, I can't believe how good we've got the weather today. Absolutely perfect. Genuinely couldn't ask for it to be any better. Guys, we'll be hitting the gravel shortly, so I'm gonna uh, tuck the visor down and we'll uh, see you at the trailhead. There it is guys.
All right guys, so we've uh, obviously ditched the bike and the jacket, way too hot to be wearing that today, and we're on the trail. Um, it looks like it should be okay. Um, lots of downhill, which does mean an uphill on the way back, I suppose, but uh, gravity does only go one way. Very rough trail, very rocky. Um, the time on the sign said about an hour, so we'll see. Um, the drier weather does have me a little worried that the falls may not be flowing to their full potential, but we won't know till we get there. Guys, I'll flick this around and give you a look at what the trail looks like. Alright guys, so this is what we're dealing with. Um, just a pretty well maintained trail, a little bit of a hike. So, quite a bit of this and uh, give you a look when we get closer to the falls. As I was saying guys, you can see the size of some of these trees that would have been in here. We're still walking past the same fallen log. It's huge. And the only reason it stops is that somebody's physically cut it off the track. But, uh, yeah, that thing's a monster. Alright guys, we made it to the halfway point. Because this is the little hut. Literally just a rest shelter. It's got uh, no purpose other than that. For taking a bit of shelter from the storms. And apparently, <laughs> apparently it's the pub with no beer. Love it. We should have a pretty good view down here though guys. Just very carefully select these stones. Oh yeah. That's very cool. Alright guys, so uh, carefully pick these stones back out. But this is a halfway point. We are getting much, much closer. And um, I'm really enjoying it. I do enjoy getting off the bike and doing hikes. Just breaks it up and gets the body moving for a while and it's really cool to be exploring uh, my own neck of the woods. So guys, we're going to uh, keep pushing on, and uh, the trail goes down behind us. Alright guys, so this is the final descent down into the falls now. A few steps. All right, guys, there we have it, Snug Falls. So uh, definitely worth the walk down here. It wasn't too bad. Um, the walk back out could be a bit steeper than uh, I think I'm ready to do, but it's just it is what it is. Definitely worth it. Snug Falls is beautiful. Um, really nice place and pretty close to Hobart. But guys, I think I might end the episode here uh, purely because we've got a lot of content uh, already and we're only halfway down to Bruni. But uh, guys, as always, we thank you for following along and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.